Biotech SH-101 mod is an upgrade for the Roland SH-101 synthesizer. It adds MIDI in and out, an improved sequencer, accent for filter and volume, an additional envelope and LFO, clock sources and dividers, MIDI control of filter, pitch band, the mod's parameters and much more. Improved Sequencer The SH-101 sequencer has been vastly improved and brought up to date. It now features 32 sequences with 120 steps each. Attributes like accent and or glide can be programmed for each step. When in load mode, press up for volume accent, up down for filter accent, and of course you can add a glide or break like in the original SH-101. These attributes can also be combined. Press down to delete the last step of a sequence. What you hear is the new last step. Finally, press play to play the recorded sequence. You can also play it backwards. ping pong mode or randomly. Each of the 32 keyboard keys has one sequence assigned to it. To record a new sequence, press and hold load and select a new sequence using the keyboard. You can now record a new sequence. And play it. There are two ways to switch between the sequences. While the sequence is running, you can switch to another one immediately by pressing a key on the keyboard. The new sequence will not start from the beginning, but play in sync with the old one. A second way is to press and hold play and then press a keyboard key. After releasing play, the currently playing sequence finishes and the new sequence starts from the beginning. The sequences can also be chained into a whole song. To record a song, press and hold play and press the keyboard keys in the order you want the sequences to be chained in. Once you release play, the currently playing sequence finishes and the first sequence of the new song will start playing. Even when one song is playing, you can program a new one without interrupting the playing one. After recording, the currently playing sequence will finish and then the first sequence of the new song start. This can be used to produce pattern based or to have a complete live set in your SH-101. A MIDI controller can be used to control the SH-101 mod parameters. It is however not necessary, all parameters can also be controlled by using an internal config menu. The controller used in this video is specially made for the SH-101 mod and sold by Stereoping. A link can be found in the description below. Accent while the siblings of the SH-101, the MC-202 and TB-303 both have this feature which is important to many musical styles it was unfortunately lacking in the SH-101. Until now. The SH-101 accent consists of an envelope with a fixed fast attack and a decay adjustable between 1 millisecond and 5 seconds. It can be routed to the VCA, filter or both while the amount can be adjusted individually. The accent can be programmed in the sequencer or triggered via MIDI velocity in various ways. With the MIDI controller or the internal config menu you can adjust accent volume amount, accent filter amount,
and accent decay. Appreciator. Apart from the up, down and up down modes, there is now an additional random mode for the arpeggiator. Press down and up down simultaneously to activate it. Clock sources and dividers. The SH101 sequencer, ARP and random style LFO can be clocked by multiple sources. A clock source can be the internal LFO, an external clock signal, a MIDI clock or a MIDI note. In all these cases, additional dividers are provided to sync the synth the way you like. Clock sources can be selected in a config menu or using MIDI. Here we sync the SH101 to a TR606 using the external clock input. Here we synced it to a TR505 using the MIDI clock. Additional filter envelope and LFO. The SH101 mod also features an additional ADSR envelope and a triangular LFO for the filter. ADSR parameters, LFO speed and amounts can be adjusted using MIDI. The envelope attack, decay and release times can be adjusted from 0 to 5 seconds using a logarithmic law to ensure good controllability. The LFO speed can be adjusted from 0.25 Hz to 8 kHz. Slow as well as higher speed filter modulations are possible. This makes it possible to create voice-like high frequency filter modulations when using a bit of resonance. 
MIDI Beside MIDI IN, the SH101 mod features MIDI OUT on two separate channels. The S PLAY channel outputs what you play on the keyboard. The sounds channel on the other hand outputs what you hear. This includes the arpeggiator and sequencer. MIDI velocity can be mapped to many parameters such as filter cutoff, accent and ADSR parameters. Here's an example of the velocity mapped to filter cutoff. In the next example volume accent, filter accent or both are switched on depending on the velocity amount. Filter envelope parameters can be controlled as well. Here it is mapped to decay. These were some, but not all, features of the TubeTech SH101 mod. There is an extended pitch range, a built in MIDI merger, MIDI pitch band control, and much more. For a list of all features and more information, check out tubotech.de slash sh101.